We are still at, we are still at Coventry Motor Museum in uh, the heart of Coventry, and this is a standard eight from 1948. So that car is a year older than me. And I used to work on one of these. The boss of the CWS in Lowestoft had one of these, and I used to uh, maintain it. Lovely thing, but there's a great big bench seat, and if you went round a corner too fast, they were so slided, they would sl you would slide across. You'd slide across the bench seat. So here we have a 1947 Daimler limousine. Beautiful job there. I'm trying to avoid people. People are going down very slowly. That's a little standard if I'm... Uh... Yes, standard Super 10, 1953. Yeah, these were some of the ones that I was working on. Um... This great big one here is a... Um... 1952 Armstrong Sidley Whitley and that looks like a, an early Hillman Hillman Minx Mark V saloon I would certainly definitely worked on those isn't it funny look at the petrol cap sticking out there handle sticking out it's incredible and this is a sunbeam from 1953 Mark III drop head coupe This one here is a Triumph uh, TR2 sports car. Sunbeam Rapier worked on those, another Hillman worked on that. Yeah, we come into the area where I worked on a lot of these many moons ago. Humber. Humber Scepter Saloon. Yeah, a lot of these I worked on. Hello, this has been Triumph cut in half. Another Triumph. I, I think that's a Vitesse over there. These used to go like a squirt can. I've been well over a hundred in one of these. And I took my mother-in-law out and uh, she could then tell her friends she went over a hundred miles an hour. These were really little goers, but they had a rear, I think it was a transverse spring, and it, they were absolute pains to fit. Um, they called these dollies, it was a dolomite. This is a dolomite sprint, but they called them dollies. You were working on a dolly, you used to say. Another rover. Triumph Spitfire, I used to maintain one of those. Tune the twin carburetors. Those were the days, long, long ago. I sometimes wake up having a nightmare that I'm still working in a garage. Another Triumph, stag that one. Do, 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 do. And now, we've got another Hillman. I wonder what Hillman that is. Avengers? Uh, yeah, an Avenger. Hillman Avenger from 1972. I thought that back is uh, was an Avenger. My wife knows lots about cars, lots more than I do these days. That looks like an old Jaguar. That's a Daimler. Oh, Hillman, I fell asleep on a motorway once in one of those. Um, while I was driving, when I was in my, what, late, t well, probably 20s, dear, 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 my wife shook me and woke me up. I'd only nodded for a second, but it was a second too long. We were getting rather close to the car in front, but it was a hire car and we had to get it back that night, so I couldn't, no, these days we just stop and rest, no problem. But we need to get that car back before midnight, we've been to London for the day. But that was years and years ago. Peugeot engine.
The company is blaming high costs of writing near country, where over 2,000 workers will lose their jobs. Oh, the suspensions, these bring back some memories. Yeah, opened up differential. Front suspension with a broken spring. And a taxi. Well, we're going up here now, and there's a very old post office. These were everywhere, these post office vans. City of Con Industrial Museum. That's a Singer van. And this beautiful thing looks like a Morris. Yeah, a 1972 Morris Minor post office van. And what was that one there? A 1965 Daimler Majestic Hearse. Oh dear. Ah, well. Triumph police car. Carrier? I used to drive carrier bantams, little, I think they were three wheelers, way back in the day. Carrier, yeah, they were, I'd forgotten about that company. There's an Atlas. Look at that, a plywood caravan. Oh my word, those were the days. I think that's something that will go in water, the looks of it. Jaguar Daimler fire engine. A very old caravan again. An oil stove, that's a bit dodgy, isn't it? And there's the bus that brought home the Coventry uh, City team when they won the FA Cup. I still remember that. We went into, I've got no interest in football at all, but we did go into town to see them coming back home to Coventry. But I'd never, never, I've never taken any interest in football. I had aversion therapy at school. They forced me to play it, so I used to kick the ball off the pitch. And um, then they'd make me go after it. And so I'd go after it, but kick it a bit further. And my mate was laughing, and the teacher said, you two can go on a cross-country run for two hours. I don't want to see you till the end of the day. So we used to run round to my nan's, have tea and cakes. And then we reminded the teacher next week, sir, we, have we, we haven't got to go on a, on a cross-country, have we? Yes, you idiots, you can go on a cross-country. So off I went and ran my nan. So this became a bit of a habit. My nan was good enough not to tell my mum, else there'd have been troubles. Well, I'll say goodbye as we look at that uh, blues bus. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for those who are about to subscribe, to subscribe or those who already have. Bye from Coventry uh, Transport Museum, United Kingdom. Kingdom, even. <laughs>